who forgot to put the enrichment items in with the common wombat in the last episode. <laughs> um, we're just taking a quick look at the common wombat right now. Um, as you can probably tell, this is a voiceover. Um, I'm just putting in the common, common wombat enrichment items. Um, there's some really nice ones actually. I love the little pumpkin over there. So we are in this episode putting in the red fox, as you can see. Um, I wanted to go and put the red fox in in this episode because they both, the common wombat and the red fox, will have a kind of similar habitat. So they don't need a lot of climbing or anything like that. So I thought we'll put them similar ones right opposite each other, and we can kind of recycle some bits and pieces from the habitat to keep the same kind of vibe going in the habitat. So I do move that water filter thing. Um, in a minute, um, it's not going to be in the middle of the habitat. I was going to try and incorporate it into it and then I just decided no, just move it. Do need to raise up the fences as well um, for these because the red fox needs a higher barrier height. So I just raise it up a little bit still the same fences but just put a double kind of wooden barrier in um, and I couldn't get the fences to match up nicely so I just thought you know what I'm not fighting with it today and I hid it with a tree so um, yeah <laughs> just pretend you don't see so because the red fox and the common wombat don't necessarily need any kind of climbing so they're very kind of basic habitats but I still wanted to create and if it just being kind of like maybe like a bit rocky more of a rural kind of habitat maybe something that would they would necessarily maybe find in like a wild I, I, I don't know but yeah this is the, this is the kind of thing that we're we're planning on doing anyway I did decide when I was editing the common wombat episode that I didn't like the shelter so we used the shelter for the um, common wombats as the umbrellas that we got um, but the more and more I was looking at it I was thinking no I don't like it it's because they if, if it's windy if it's raining if it's snowing there's not it's not going to offer them any kind of shelter so um, I've decided I'm going to do something else so this is what I'm doing here for the red foxes I'm just using the twilight pack items and creating kind of some kind of like shelter for them so um, I'm using the wooden boards and trying to create a kind of bottom half of the shelter I've um, put the roof on the floor at the moment so I can kind of like build around it so you're not kind of building with the roof up in the air and then it doesn't fit and then it doesn't look right so and then you, I get annoyed with digging so I'm thinking well, why doesn't it fit I don't understand so I'm trying something a little bit different copy the frame so it goes all the way around it um, it does the roof fits fine um, but I probably should have moved the outer fence in a little bit just so it fits and the roof kind of overlaps it a little bit but we know for next time so I'm just using the kind of the mesh to create kind of like some ventilation um, to go all the way around the habitat just so the red foxes can still keep warm but they also get their ventilation in as well So I'm just deleting out some doors and fitting in some kind of wooden edges around it just to tidy it up a little bit. But yeah, I think it looks okay actually. I do decide to put this shelter in the common wombat habitat as well, so they are both have the same shelter, so a little bit better than what we had in there before. I um, also did kind of think of a really good idea for our bat habitat now what i was going to do is have the bat exhibit kind of in like a little walkthrough kind of thing and you just go you, the guests would go in one end and come out the other and it would just kind of be kind of, kind of like a basic shell type of thing 
but um, whilst I was at work and <laughs> zoning out of what I was actually supposed to be doing and suddenly thinking, oh, I wonder what we could do for Planet Zoo, um, I thought up uh, maybe we could do some sort of kind of spooky castle where you go in and you have um, an inside area where you don't necessarily have to walk through the bats if you don't want to um you can just stand and you can just look in through like the window almost and then you can go out and it can be creating like a like a back garden to the castle and the outside bit for the bats will be there probably haven't explained it very well but that is a plan in my head it looks really cool <laughs> so um that should be coming in a few episodes time just when i find the time to try and sit down and spend a long time trying to trying to plan it and trying to film it and get it all kind of sorted and ready to go for you all um because as you know the planet zoo videos do take a long time to film and unfortunately it's not my kind of full-time job so i kind of have to fit it around my current one Now we tend to make a start on the red fox. So I'm just putting them in and they're running around pretty happily. Just checking to make sure that they're not gonna escape anywhere because that's the last thing we want. So I do go through and kind of use the same things from the common wombat habitat just to make it unsimilar. And they are shy animals, the red foxes. So I thought trying to use these bramble bushes might help them to not be so shy. And at the moment it seems to be working. So fingers crossed that helps. Um, but that's pretty much it for me really but please let me know how you are finding the series if you are enjoying it um, anything that you're really looking forward to animal wise are you playing this at home anything that you've kind of created if you do want anything that you see in this particular zoo put up on the steam workshop also please do let me know and I can do that for you but I will stop talking now and let you enjoy the rest of the habitat build and the cinematics at the end and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!